God of War 4 is with us, my friends. That's right. So Sony announced the new God of War and myself. If you're following my channel, you know that I have done a video some time ago with five top games prediction on E3 and the God of War was in number one of that list because The Last of Us will not be released as I said in the video because Naughty Dogs is working on Uncharted and Sony needed an exclusive that gamers already know to keep the hype close with the gamers and Sony. And so that's why God of War was going to be released. However, we got a very different God of War of what people and gamers are expected to. So we saw a Kratos more calm with a beer and a whole new background to where God of War is taking place. So no more Greek mythology and now we have some Nordic mythology, my friends. That's right. So Kratos has gone away from Greek and now we are to the Nordic so beware of not beware but of what I saw on the trailer of the gameplay trailer I have did some research of myself and I found some information that is exactly what's on this trailer so I will share with you what I found so the Nordic people believed that the world erased from chaos and in the end of one of God of Wars, you know that he says that in the end, chaos prevails. So we have now a first connection with this Nordic mythology and with the other God of War games. So these people believed that the world arose from chaos because in the beginning, there was neither heaven nor earth. So here we have, so the Nordic people believed that there was just a bottomless pit with no end, with one end of fire called, and I don't know if I'm telling this right, Muspelium, and the other end there was ice. So there was Nilfeheim. I don't know if I'm telling this right, this is a Nordic word. So there was a mirroring their habitat, the creation of the world in Norse cosmology that was represented as a dramatic encounter between the primal forces of fire and ice. And in this trailer, you see Kratos walking on ice. On snow and you see in the trailer a big fucking ugly monster and he's all about fire you can see he's throwing fire he's stepping fire he has a big fucking stone and it's you can see it's on fire like a lava fire so it's all is exactly right the dots are connected so this image is a characteristic feature of Icelandic nature where it is visible to the contrast between the volcanic soil, there is the volcanic soil of that big monster that has all that lava shit around him and the bubbling geysers and big icebergs around. So in the end of this trailer, you see that Kratos is surrounded by big, icy, snowy mountains. And this opposing elements, fire and ice, heat and cold, expression and contraction, were born Jotnar, I don't know if I'm telling this right, who are Jotnar? Jotnar are the Nordic giants, so expect to see some Jotnars in this God of War. They are basically like the Titans, the forerunners of the Greek gods. Man, I'm so hyped for this game. They had an impressive strength and stamina, but different from them, their futures were rude and primitive intelligence prevailing instance. So these giants represent the natural powers of the elements and the environment they lived in. Some of them have become parents of the gods who followed the rule of the world. So the primordial epicness emerged two beings, primordial personifications of energy and matter. One of them called the giant Ymir. It's equated with the Titans who also embodied the underground fire. And the other one is the, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, the Audhumbla Cow. So that's right, it's the Audhumbla Cow. I don't know if you're going to see any cows on God of War, but... And they are the co-creators becoming in the process of formation of life. So Ymir, one of the giants, how to be a hermaphrodite and being the same time and giant god spawned several offsprings. 
So his grandchildren, the divine triad of Odent, Vili, and V. So this it's called V, but it's pronounced C, and they generated by a triple force, a mixture of fire, ice, and feminine principle. That is the cow Hadwumbla, if I know I'm telling this side. So they killed Ymir and of its gross cosmic matter reshaped the static cosmos and turned into a living and dynamic system. So expect to see some giants on this game. I don't know who's gonna be the, the boss in this game, but perhaps it's gonna be around the people that killed, as I said, the giant Ymir. So, and the divine triad of Odin, Vili, and V, you can say it's somewhere who, from Valhalla. So you can see it's Sahala, Valhalla. It's very close, very similar. And I don't know who this kid is. He's, this kid calls Kratos dead. But I don't think he's, he's the real dead. I really don't think he's the real dead. I think perhaps Kratos got him like he was a little boy and the kid did, didn't know his mother and father. So Kratos took him in and perhaps... Since Kratos killed his own family in God of War, in the Greek mythology, perhaps he took this kid in to be the, the children that he killed and the family that he killed. So perhaps he's starting to make things right again. The camera in this game is quite different of what we expected from God of War. It has a feel of The Last of Us. And I think that Santa Monica is creating probably... Uh, connection with Kratos and this little boy, just as Naughty Dog did with Ellie and and I forgot the other one's name's guy. Oh man, how did I forget his name? Ellie and Joe was it Joe? Oh man, I forgot his name. But it doesn't matter. Well, but I think that they're creating a connection with Kratos and boy, just like Ellie and the guy that I forgot now the name. How did I forget his name? Anyway. That's what's going to happen in this God of War. And you can see the end of the trailer. Kratos says, a new beginning. So expect one more of this game. So God of War is a new saga. Perhaps it's going to be cool. Perhaps it's not going to be cool. We have to wait and see the release of this game. Okay, guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked my video. I'll keep trying to update more E3 information. I have faculty exams right now, so I don't have quite all the time I would like to be on YouTube. So I'll do videos when I like and probably I'll try to do one every two couple of days. So guys, until next time, I hope you like this video and peace out.